Philip Ball, Critical Mass, How One Thing Leads to Another Dive into the captivating world of A Critical Mass, How One Thing Leads to Another by Philip Ball, as it explores the fascinating intersection between physics, social science, and human behavior. Unravel the quest to discover a science of society, drawing inspiration from historical figures like Hobbes, Petty, and Maxwell. Trace the evolution of thought from catastrophe theory and chaos theory to self-organization, following the attempts at understanding how collective human behavior may follow the predictable patterns, similar to those of a physics system. By exploring intriguing analogies to self-organizing phenomena from the animal kingdom, Ball widens the horizon to appreciate the complex interplay that governs our societies. The Newtonian Physics of Politics Sir William Petty, a British anatomist of the 17th century, wrote a manuscript that aimed to prove a Newtonian physics of politics. He believed that natural laws could be applied to the development of societies, and those who studied these laws could as effectively order society as those who studied the laws of machinery ordered it. This manuscript predicted greatness for England, and was well received by the royal court, including King William III. Petty's effort to discover mathematical order in society was only the beginning of a growing trend. In the 1970s, catastrophe theory was introduced, followed by chaos theory in the 1980s. Today, theorists focus on the complexity of human society, self-organization, and emergence. They have found that disparate parts may act collectively and even predictably in systems, and these theories can be applied to society. The ultimate goal is to construct a society where wisdom and compassion prevail. The science of society is a long-standing effort, and today we may be closer than ever to achieving that this goal. Hobbes and the Fundamentals of Human Governance Discover how Thomas Hobbes' application of rigorous intellectual discipline led to the development of fundamental laws of human government despite his limited appreciation for individual liberty or democracy. Thomas Hobbes was a classical scholar who developed a theory of government to bring peace to England during the Civil War. Hobbes was inspired by the power of deduction from Euclid's elements of geometry and aimed to find a theory of governance as indisputable as Euclid's theorems of lines and planes. In his book Leviathan, Hobbes came up with a theory that postulated that the power of the sovereign needed to be absolute, derived from the miserable insecurity of human nature in the state of nature. Hobbes' approach involved rigorous intellectual discipline to study human society and deduce its fundamental laws without any biases or prejudices, using reason as the main tool. Although Hobbes' persuasion had no room for individual liberty or democracy, the methodology he adopted in his research has been impactful, as he dispensed with all prejudices and biases and relied solely on reason. Economists have also benefited from his theory as they attribute to market forces a supremely stabilizing influence, and they speak in terms of market equilibrium, a stable state where all economic indicators are in perfect balance. In summary, despite Hobbes' limited appreciation for individual liberty or democracy, his rigorous intellectual discipline applied to the study of human society led him to key deductions in the fundamental laws of human government. The Influence of Social Philosophy on Science Throughout history, there has been a constant interplay between science and social philosophy. While physicists sometimes borrowed ideas from social philosophers, the flow of thought often went the other way, as in the case of James Clerk Maxwell. Maxwell observed how individual gas particles in rapid motion could keep a balloon inflated, and asked why they did not all move to one side or the other. The idea that the arrangement which kept the balloon inflated was simply more probable than any other was inspired by a social thinker, not a physicist. The Origins of Statistics The history of statistics can be traced back to John Grunt's observations upon the Bills of Mortality, published in 1662. Through this work, Grunt observed regular patterns in ages and causes of death, inspiring the idea that society follows predictable laws. Adolf Ketelet later demonstrated the normal distribution of height and weight in the population, making the average man the ideal man. Although Ketelet's notions were valuable to physics, the question remained, where do fluctuations come from? 
This question inspired Henry Thomas Buckle's History of Civilization in England, which in turn influenced Maxwell's understanding of uniformities in experiments with quantities of matter containing millions of molecules. The history of statistics reveals the human drive to observe patterns and laws in the natural world, leading to advancements in multiple fields. The Mystery of Phase Transitions the theory of scientists like Maxwell could not explain the phenomenon of phase transitions, where matter rapidly transforms from one state to another. When a material transitions from liquid to solid or gas to liquid, it enters an ordered state where particles react to one another. This results in a uniform, predictable change rather than random behavior. Fractal Mathematics and Understanding Social Processes Physicists have moved from studying states of equilibrium, as in classical physics, to studying processes of change. Fractal mathematics helps analyze and describe unpredictable patterns such as those in convection, snowflakes, and crystals. Similarly, social processes can be analyzed and understood. Self-organized systems From bacteria to humans, many living organisms behave collectively in organized patterns. Even without a leader, bacteria, bees, and birds form a cohesive unit. This behavior is not only limited to living organisms, as people also exhibit predictable patterns when moving through a stadium or a store. These patterns are observable through normal, bell-shaped curves. The way cities grow follows a similar pattern to bacterial colonies. The lack of an organizer does not mean the absence of structure. Thus, in a cyber attack, a hacker could bring down the internet by targeting the most highly connected nodes. This article shows how self-organized systems work in different domains of life and how they have patterns that are predictable and consistent with some level of randomness and variability. Understanding these patterns and how they shape human behavior can help individuals and organizations design better systems and predict outcomes. Physics helps understand traffic. Vehicles can be treated like gas molecules due to probability and statistics. Understanding this makes it possible to comprehend the sudden occurrence of traffic jams. The lighthill widow model of traffic flow consists of free-flowing traffic with phase shifts to a stagnant position. With just one driver slowing down, a sequence of brakes follows, resulting in a chain reaction causing unexpected traffic. Using traffic pattern analysis, we can develop computerized driving systems to eliminate human errors. Rationalizing the stock market Despite appearing irrational, French mathematician Louis Bachelier's application of statistical analysis techniques to the stock market resulted in discovering that stock prices move randomly in a more or less normal distribution. This paved the way for the development of efficient market theory and modern portfolio theory, which suggest that an undervalued stock does not exist. Further research by Benoit Mandelbrot and others debunked the belief that a normal distribution expresses the probability distribution in the market and showed the considerable understatement of market risks. Prices are not random, but rather are the result of human behavior and choices. The power of interaction Human behavior is complex, and interactions heavily influence decision-making, particularly in trading in market dynamics. The interplay between psychological factors such as greed, fear, and hope impact the market just as much, if not more, than information. Therefore, market analysis is subject to questions that will continue to rely heavily on analytical tools, much like those used in physics. A socialist-style economic organization does not offer a clear solution to perceived inequity and corruption in free trade. Regardless, the importance of understanding the effects of groups and interactions on the broader economy remains critical. The power of self-organization Without central direction, people possess the ability to efficiently organize themselves. This phenomenon can be found in various fields, from the World Wide Web to stock markets. Physics and statistics help us predict and understand segregation, economic inequality, and the occurrence of power failures. During World War I, soldiers exhibited a natural tendency to avoid killing each other and instead walked around bravely within rifle range in the trenches. This self-organizing behavior was disrupted only by officers who urged the soldiers to kill.
At the conclusion of a critical mass, readers have journeyed through the intriguing proposition that human society and its complex behavior patterns, while ostensibly chaotic, may have underlying order and predictability akin to the principles of physics. From the flow of traffic and stock market analysis to self-organization in the World Wide Web, Ball succeeds in delivering a perspective-altering experience, urging the readers to delve deeper into seeking answers to societal behavior. By maintaining a strong focus on historical figures and influential theories, Ball awakens our curiosity to explore the potential science of society and its broader implications for understanding human existence.